celebrate determination. I do not give up. I'm not a quitter. And they're dead even. Friendship. This is about something bigger. And heart. I'm running the course for my brother because he can't compete. Whoa, unbelievable. He's not giving up. Okay, this is oh seriously my incredible. God. Crazy. Kids can now tackle challenging big time obstacle courses in the new Ninja Warrior spinoff series, American Ninja Warrior Junior. It's going to air on Universal Kids. Lori Hernandez is both an Olympic gold medalist, as you know. She's also the youngest ever Dancing with the Stars champion, but now she is co hosting <laughs> this series alongside Matt Eisman and Akbar Bajamajamila. I can never say his name. Bajamajamila. I can never say his name. We love you, brother. We you, love have, you know how to say his name, though, I hope. Um, I, don't I, mean, know. Listen, I just call him Akbar. On it. In fact, he just posted something with all these celebrities who butchered his name like I just did. So now he's got something <laughs> He'll else add to add to, the to list. it. We put that on. Lori, I love this show for you. This is so Thank cool. You. I mean, being an Olympian, being there on the sidelines and catching these kids as they're coming off the course, mm. how inspiring is it to see what they do? I mean, it's something else. Some of these kids have trained for months, some of them even for years. And so to see them finally get to live out their dreams and I get to ask them about it, I mean, that's amazing. I get to connect with them in, in a different light. So that's great. Yeah. yeah. How is it? Is it harder than you thought? it would be it is harder than my thought I mean I, I got to try out the course and at first I was like okay this should be like pretty easy I think I'll be able to run it here's you doing the course right. now yeah 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 and as I'm doing it I'm like wait a minute this is a lot harder than I thought like these kids are definitely fearless did you get up the wharf wall did I the did you did I did the kids one yeah oh my okay God. wait I gotta see you compete this okay look at this you my amazing. arms are already hurting already so you have that upper body arm strength though Gym gymnasts I, and rock climbers do well yeah but I had taken like a two-year break from gymnastics so yeah. running this course was like I was like come on muscles wake up like, well, I mean, you do took me a, good you might have taken a two-year break but I mean you are an Olympian yeah <laughs> oh wait here's the wall medalist. oh wait go back to the wall did she get the, the wall, wall. oh Oh, I you got to look. You got to look. You got to watch. Hold that. It's a tease. It's <laughs> How a was tease. your two year break? Because I always think of this Oof. your whole life is focused towards one thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was the break hard? Was there a struggle there? I mean, it was a break, but I was doing a lot of traveling. I mean, I was able to do Dancing with the Stars and go on tours and all these different events. So um, it was a quite busy two years, but I mean, I got so many different opportunities than I wouldn't have had. Uh, if it weren't for the Olympics, so yeah. I'm grateful. Yeah, well, and you also have had time to write books. Yes. And you've written a great children's book called Thank She's you. Got This. And in the back of the book, I love the picture of you oh. with your medal there as a little kid. And then to think that then you would have a gold medal around your neck. Me the chicken the around nugget. So you can see. <laughs> I love chicken nugget. I they... All the little medals. Oh, let's go over here. So yeah. what's the message of the book? Um, so, I mean, the story is loosely based on my story, the main character, Zoe, which is my middle name. Um, she starts gymnastics, she falls off the beam, hurts her knee, and decides she's going to quit and not do it again. And her parents are like, okay, we're not going to quit after you fail. We're going to try it again. And it's not even a fail, it's just a learning lesson. And they really support her and boost her and, and try to teach her that you, can, you are supposed to try again. So, mm -hmm. um, I think that's really the moral of the story, and it's it's a big part of my story too. Falling is a part of the process. It's Absolutely. not something to be Getting afraid of. Yeah. It's it a just, part of it. It allows you to think outside the box and try it from a different perspective. But talk to talk about why you decided a children's book. I mean, there, are, there you took a break. There's plenty of things you could do. Why was it important in particular to target this audience with this kind of message? I mean, I, I grew up with books in the house. My dad was always making up stories on his own. My mom was always reading books in the house, and that was just something that was a big <laughs> It was a big part of my childhood. So coming out with a children's book, I mean, to have that idea, that was that was, you know, it's so exciting, and I'm, I'm so glad I was able to put out a book for little kids. Your curls have always been popping. I just want to yes. say that. Like, yes. Thank you. Popping. But I, I feel like this is like the first. This is like the first foray into maybe seeing you in as, as a cartoon. Oh, I feel like that's in that your story, cool? right? Oh, I just feel like that is in your story. We, we talked about that when you first came back uh, uh, with with uh, uh, from Rio. I mean, I just feel like this is something you should be doing, right? Oh yeah. I mean, I. I've been able to have an opportunity to do uh, an animation. So that, like, well, not, it was, um, it's called Middle School Moguls. It's uh -huh. for Nickelodeon. And um, I'm able to voice a character, Val. And she doesn't look like me, but that's, that's See. the beginning. Okay. Just the beginning. I just feel so, it. But I she love look like you. When you got with the artist to do this, was this so fun to see little Zoe it come to was. life? Yes. I mean, we got to pick from, like, a handful of different illustrators. And when I saw Nina, Ma Nina Mata's um, artwork, I mean, she really captured the joy that I had as a little kid and my curls and how excited and, and bouncy I was. And so, yeah. 
So now seeing you as sort of a sideline reporter on American Ninja Warrior <laughs> Juniors, I mean, is this a direction that you see yourself someday going in as well? I mean, I don't rule anything out of the picture. <laughs> I have Here we go. I have such a beautiful Best -selling opportunity. Best-selling author, <laughs> stealing our jobs. And I no. like it. We got an extra chair. Right. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> but I mean, I, I just I'm so grateful for the opportunity. I would love to be an actress in the future. So I mean, I I'm, I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed to be busy. Mm -hmm. you, you have that animated face. Thank you, you do. Definitely. <laughs> well, Lori, uh, you are training again. We're going to talk about that. Hopes for Tokyo coming up as well after these messages from your local station. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. That sucks. <laughs> what was that? Were you live? Were you live on Insta? I mean, I wasn't live. I was just recording. I had just started to do some flips on Beam, and um, I just did one that I caught on video where I ended up completely wiping out. And I was oh. like, I gotta post this. Uh, <laughs> back on Access Live with Olympic champion gymnast Lori Hernandez. So you're getting back to train yes. for 2020. I feel like you are growing into yourself as mm -hmm. a beautiful woman. Thank has your you. body changed? Is that yeah. gonna affect you in competition? I mean, I I haven't. I, I, I had just hit puberty right after Rio, and so now uh, the comeback, it, it feels a little different. I feel like I get to kind of know myself all mm -hmm. over again, which is really nice. So. What's, what's the hardest thing for you right now? Um, back? So far, everything is coming back pretty smoothly. Um, the uneven bars are not <laughs> quite liking me right now. We're working on it. It's, it's coming along just a little slower than the others. So. Yeah. What's the conversation you have with yourself, right? You, when you're getting back at it and it, maybe it's not coming together as quickly as maybe you thought. Your body is totally different than it was the first time around or yeah. the last time around. Yeah. What are you telling yourself? Like, I got this. I can do this. <laughs> She's got it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's making sure that I can be really patient with myself because even if my body feels really good or even mm -hmm. if I feel warmed up, if I feel powerful and it doesn't work, then that feels really uncomfortable. So it's just saying like, you know, you took a big break. You're, it's gonna take time to come back, be mm -hmm. patient and kind of nurturing myself. Be my and, own and little hype man. And <laughs> you've got, you know, going into Tokyo. I mean, that's like a year and a half away. Yeah. So do you know anybody else from the team coming back? Or is it going to be a whole new hmm. Fierce um, so Five or Fierce <laughs> however many now? Um, so far, Simone is back. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. They had just announced the world's team, which is so exciting. All the girls um, are, are currently training there right now. Um, they're in Doha, so that's exciting. I can't wait to root for them. But the goal is to make worlds next year. So. Wow. We'll and what hours are we talking? Like, how many hours a day now do you have to be in the gym? Right now, because it's I'm just kind of getting in the groove of things, it's like three, four hours, which is pretty good. And then during meet season, it'll start to hike up a little bit. And then how long are you spending on your phone? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too much time. <laughs> Too much I'm like, don't judge me. Do you have a Finsta? Because with our daughters, we were asking. So I used to have a Finsta. Um, yeah. I had it a couple of years ago. And then I just was like, I'm going to delete it because there's no... Point. You like, did have a fence. Everybody yeah. has a fence. I'm sorry, a fence. I don't want to know this. Um, I'm sorry, we also Mom. have something that's really cool. God has it. Your <laughs> dun, dun, Barbie. Love her. This is so cool. What did Thank you think you. when you saw her? I mean, it's it's an honor and a dream come true. As a little girl, I always played with Barbies. This is something else. So um, I love that she's fully posable. I know that I, like I would kind of joints that moves. Yeah, yeah, they move, and she has my curls, which was the biggest part about it. So. Curls be popping. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, congrats with everything going on with you. We will be following everything going on, and come back anytime and sit in this chair. It's yes. always open for you. Sounds good. <laughs> like, I'm here next week. So yeah. American Ninja Warrior Junior airs Saturdays at seven on Universal Kids.